talking about is show altruism in birds. How are you today? I'm alright, thank you. How are hey, you? I'm good, yeah. It's a bit windy up here, are you not getting cold? You've I been here all day. day. after like the eighth interview. Yeah, you've today. been here all day, yeah. Yeah. So, tell us all about the show. It's quite an interesting name. Yeah, it's, um, uh, I want, yeah, uh, the, the, the title, it does relate to the show, but not, not in an obvious way. Um, but I, one, I like the sound of the title, and the show is really um, ostensibly about... Because I, I, um, I quit comedy for a bit, because I had a very bad year personally. And then uh, I realised my mistake, and then went back to comedy. Well, so I read your transition was comedian to fan driver. To van driver. To, that's quite a transition. Yeah, it was... <laughs> and it's, not, it's not to sort of, like, belittle van drivers. It's just that I wasn't one. I was clearly going through a terrible time <laughs> and running away from it. So then when, um, when I realised my mistake and I went back to comedy, uh, that's what I was talking about. Um, uh, and also about the, uh, uh, the, the, the bad year that I was having. Uh, so the show's really about that, but how I um, come through it and get better, basically. So would you say it's quite black comedy? Because it's quite I think sad? I suppose it's sad comedy. Uh, for a lot of it, but then it has got a happy ending, and like it's it's all about seeing the positives rather than wallowing. But unfortunately, just because of story terms, you have to talk about the sad bits, otherwise the happy bits don't mean anything. So, but it's not black comedy. I wouldn't say it's black comedy. Into I don't like talk about uh, <coughs> like hot potatoes, but I suppose it is quite dark in that I I, I do I do go into um, uh, self-loathing <laughs> and things like that. So I suppose it's psychologically dark. It's not a it's not. It's not. It's not dark in terms of uh, being offensive. Does it ever get very nerve-wracking because you're so personal with your comedy? Well, that's weird because I can't do it. Um, I can't do it one to one in real life, but I can do it on stage. No, no problem. But I think that's because it's not. It's not a social thing for me. Like it's a social thing for an audience because they're with their friends and they've gone to see a comedian. But from our point of view, it's not social at all. You're, it's like you're doing a job, and. You get to think out loud for an hour. Uh, I don't think anybody else gets to do that. So, in a way, it's really cathartic and helpful. Um, but I don't get nervous talking about like m the, my innermost thoughts because um, it's nice to it's nice to voice them. And also, you get an immediate reaction. So sometimes, uh, just from an audience, the way they will react to it, they give you a very immediate idea of whether or not there's anything in what you're thinking. Yeah. And you all you all by telling people, you go. Oh, I'm an idiot for thinking that, or oh, there's something in that. Who needs therapy, right? Well, exactly. <laughs> some people, some people need therapy. <laughs> that, that's not to say that <laughs> no, no one it. needs it. <laughs> Please, no one be offended. <laughs> so, what's this I hear about seagull? Yeah. About. yeah so the uh, this is where the title comes in as well, uh, which I won't go into because I'd like you to come and see the show. But um, uh, I, the reason that I started to feel better was because I had uh, I had an evening where I had nothing to do but wait for the RSPCA to come and rescue an injured seagull that I'd found and because I had nothing to do I retreated into my own head and that's when I started thinking things through so the show is really the thought processes of me while I'm waiting for the RSPCA to come and rescue a seagull yeah. What do you think of the fringe? Well I came out of nowhere <laughs> what do I, think I, of know. I know, seagulls to fringe I really like the fringe. <laughs> that was a massive non sequitur. But I, I like uh, I like the fringe a lot. Uh, but um, one of the, the main reason for that is where it is, because it's in Edinburgh and it's a beautiful city. Uh, there are um, there are other things. I mean, because you get to come, if you're a comedian, which I am, all of your mates are here as well. So you get to spend a month with your mates. That's not to say you don't work hard, because you do. But it must be hard having lots of comedian friends. You know, it's just like. Oh, that's kind of true. It's it's weird actually. I, somebody asked me this in an interview yesterday about whether or not there's a rivalry, and there should be, but there doesn't seem to be. It's 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 quite amazing how well we all get on, considering that we're all in competition for each other's jobs. It's a really, but I like it. It's a really nice community, and it's something I missed when I was driving van. Um, uh, but the fridge is also a good place to try because there's no way I'd be able to like decide that I'm just going to go and talk about my innermost thoughts. Uh, of when I was having a breakdown I couldn't do that at a comedy club but I can do it at the fringe it's sort of like this is the place to try these things yeah. okay so why should we see your show what's that where why, why should we see oh your why show? Uh, 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 again like it's, it, because it's uh, it's very it's the most honest I've ever been on stage I think uh, I hope to think it's an interesting story 
and I don't think there's um, it's got a seagull in it. No, I, yeah, I'm pretty like I'm pretty sure I might be the only comedian <laughs> doing a show about a seagull. It's pretty, so, it's yeah. pretty different. It depends whether you like seagulls or not. They get a bad press at the moment. Well, thank you so much for talking. No, to thanks me. for having me. This is Waffle TV.